Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your microphone sound better. Um, this will help you in server, or if you want to venture off and do you know live streaming and stuff like that, but this will make your microphone sound way better. Uh, currently, I have all the audio stuff turned off, so uh, you guys will see at the end what it will sound like at the end. Uh, the programs that we're going to be using today are Voice Meter Banana and VB Audio Cable. Uh, you're going to need both of these, so to get them, just click the link in the forum post here, and uh, you'll be uh, redirected to download. Um, the first one that we're going to get is Voice Meter Banana here, so you're going to scroll down. Um, it's completely free. Uh, you can donate to them if you want to, um, but uh, they offer everything uh, very easy and free. So uh, what we're going to want to get here is the Voice Meter uh, exe file, not the zip package, because the exe is just going to be uh, a lot easier to use. So we click install. That's going to download there. Well, that's downloading over here. We're going to go over to uh, right at the top. You can see you can just switch over, but uh, the link will be there too. Um, virtual audio cable. We're going to need that too. So what we need to do is we'll click here. It'll drop us down here, and you can get it for free here too. And this one downloads in just a zip file. So once we have those, we'll open that up. There we go. Uh, and you'll get this dialog here. And we're going to open up the zip file. All right. Now we can close down our web browser here. Um, the other thing that you are going to need to open is your mixer. So just right click down here and open volume mixer. So you can need to see everything in here. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and click install. It's going to copy files, install the audio driver, install the aux audio driver. Installation complete. And it's going to bring up you to the website here. We're going to minimize that for now. It's going to tell you to reboot. We'll do that in a minute. We're going to reboot all at once. You're going to need to take all these items here and just you can create a new folder on your desktop, whatever. You're going to end up deleting it anyway soon. And you're just going to copy everything over. So now that we're in the folder, we have our setups here. Um, most of you are probably going to be running um, Windows 64 bit, so go ahead and click the 64 bit here. And you can hit install driver. Oh, we have to run it in administrator mode. My bad. Click back in here. And we want to rerun this. And you can right click and hit run as administrator. It'll prompt you up. Screen's going to go black there for a second. There we go. Um, and it'll pop up and say, Do you want to allow? And you hit yes. And then it'll let you install drivers. And we're going to have to reboot, it says, which is no big deal. Um, so now that that's done, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and reboot your system. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so we're back after we just rebooted our computer. And you're going to notice instantly that uh, some things may have changed. So first of all, we'll open up our sound here right click your volume button down here and, and just click playback devices um you'll see some new things in here so we have voice meter aux input voice meter input and cable input for vb audio cable okay and i uh it may switch you automatically to the virtual audio cable you won't hear anything so make sure that uh you click back on here in your recording and uh you can see i re-enabled that but it might switch you over to the cable output there all right we're ready to go ahead and configure things so we just need to start up voice meter banana so just go ahead type in your search bar there voice meter uh, and banana it takes a second to load up load it up on the other screen and you can see mine's kind of already configured right now so we're going to reset up yep there we go okay so this is what you will see when you first set up um, I just had it load my settings uh, from the last time. So th there's a couple things I'm going to explain. Um, first of all, these are um, not going to be used, these hardware inputs 1, 2, and 3. So you can right click is what I'm doing. And you can rename them to whatever you want. This first input is going to be your mic input. There. So this is, this is going to be your mic input. And you'll see these bars here. They'll move and everything. And basically what happens is, is it'll, it'll capture it, and then these are different channels, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2. 
and you can see up here on the hardware out where it's blinking, I have A1, A2, and A3. So if I get my mic here, let me just disable these. It doesn't really matter, but I just like doing it for sakes. Um, so if I put something in here with this button clicked, it'll output to the A1 track over here. So this this is the A1. This is like your monitoring of your what's outputting on your A1 here. So if you have two mics and you want to use you know the other one real quick, you can just disable this one and enable this one. So um, this will basically just take your input and it's going to push it out into A1. And now we need to set up what different ones are. So we can go in here. We'll start with the mic input here. I have a blue Yeti. So our input, um, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose, MME or WDM, just it has to be the same on the, on the output. So I'm going to go ahead and click microphone here. There we go. And then I'm going to go over here. And my A1 is going to be the speakers. So whatever you're using to listen to, boom. Now you can double hear me. So that's our live monitoring basically right there. Um, A1 will be your live monitoring. So when we're making changes and effects to our voice to make it sound better at the audibility gate, compressor, stuff like that, you'll use A1 to monitor. You'll hear yourself. It'll be a slight delay. So um, don't do it in TeamSpeak. Do it uh, do it when you're out. But you can. That's how you. That's how you can make changes right there. So A1 is set up to for us to monitor our own input. Now we need to set up A2. Now A2 is going to be our virtual audio cable. So we click A2 here, and we go down, and we want to select the virtual audio cable. It'll be it should be KS. If it's anything else, just choose it. Um, but VB audio point. So there we go. So now VB audio point will be our output there. So if I hit A2, you'll see over here that this microphone is now picking up over on track A2. And I'm just going to go ahead and click these over into stereo, repeat. It doesn't really do much. Um, it just gives you the full bar so it's easy, easier to see that you're outputting correctly. Next, A3. This is optional. Um, if you have computer speakers and you just want a quick toggle real quick, you can add them in here, and I'm just going to do this on that. So that's my speakers that I have plugged into my computer. So now if I want to listen to that, I can output it, and you might have been able to hear it in the background there. Um, but that's a quick way to output. You can use that, uh, but it'll be come into play a little bit later when we route our audio through here. All right. The main thing is that A2 is outputting so you want a2 which a2 is your virtual audio point the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to um, down here at the bottom look back on our playback devices so our speakers here if I test them is being used by another application right so what we want to do is test this Hold on, let me just hit, if you run into this issue, you can hit properties and you can just do, unclick here, exclusive mode, turn them off. Um, that may help you a bunch. Um, you will not get, hopefully you won't get those errors. Um, but it may require a restart. So, once that's set up, now what you want to do is open up TeamSpeak. Okay, so. If you run into the issue where you need to, if you get the little headphones missing thing, what you need to do is you need to go into your tools, options, and your team speak here, and you go to your playback, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set our voice meter it to voice meter input, okay? Once we do that, it may work, it may not, but we're going to head over into now our playback area, and we're going we're gonna to enable the aux input, or the input, whatever one you want to use, they're, they're named like this in TeamSpeak. So this is voice meter VB audio, voice meter VAIO. This is aux. So if we test, testing your playback sound system, it works. If I enable this one now, this and this, 
do this. Testing your playback sound system. It still works. So the aux is up to you. Testing I just use a regular one. Okay, you can shut up now. I just use a regular one, the voice meter input. And this lets you, you know, change the bass and stuff like that of your audio. But uh, now what we can do is now we get to actually do the fun part of configuring our, our sound, right? Um, and I'm going to turn off the gate there and just reset everything back to normal. So, uh, actually, one more thing before we get off the uh, the, the input here for... Um, let me just close down Steam real quick. Uh, one once thing, one more thing before we get started on the uh, the uh, the microphone. Uh, you want to come over here and uh, enable A1 because this is going to be your voice meter, right? Which we set over here. This is your voice meter input for your desktop audio. And it's coming through this right here, voice meter VAIO. So this is your this is your headphones, right? Right here. It's coming down through here. You can equalize it. You know, add bass, whatever you want to do, left or right or up and down, whatever you want to do. You just need to enable A1 here, okay? Because A1 is your speakers or your headphones. If you want to do your speakers, you press A3. So now my speakers will play whatever is playing on my computer. A2 is a loop back into your microphone. Do not use it. Otherwise, you'll people will hear each other uh, twice you'll basically just route your audio back through your microphone but now we get to change our voice right we get to we get to make improvements so all we have to do is click a1 here now I can hear hear myself it's insanely hard to do you just make weird noises or whatever right but you can hear when I change this, um, I'm going to activate it by left clicking. And you can hear now, I'm changing my voice, I'm changing my voice, and I can go up, 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 over, 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 down, 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 left, 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 right, right, right. Most people are going to land in this area. Now, the goal is to not change your voice, it's to make your voice clear. So... This is how I do that. It makes myself sound a little bit more professional and stuff like that. There's a couple other things that we can do. This is a modulation FX panel. Um, you can just do some weird, weird, weird items with that. Don't recommend using it. You can access these menus, by the way, by right-clicking. You just right-click on this, and then you can change left, right, ear, whatever. That's just your 3D space. You can do it for all these if you want. Um, if you have multiple inputs and stuff like that. So, now we need to add our gate. This will cut out any kind of background noise. So, if, if, if I'm snapping behind me there, basically, um, it'll cut that out, which is very helpful. I run mine around uh, 6, but it, it's whatever works for you. It's however close you are to your mic. So, I run mine about 6. And now, next to that is the compressor. So it'll prevent you from peaking so much. Um, if you have really hard S's, um, that'll help with that. So I'm gonna turn it on, and you can kind of hear what I, what I sound like. And I'm gonna I'm gonna loop it back through uh, my audio too. Test. See with with my microphone, it picks up at the end, and then it it, it it's got digital noise on it, and I don't you don't want that. So. Um, it depends if your microphone allows you to do that or not. Mine does not. I'm happy with how it is, but now I am good. I'm in that nice corner down here, and you know you don't want to go all the way down. You know you want to you want to stay in this kind of area over here. Um, if you ever want to reset, just double click it, back to normal. Now I am sounding better, hopefully, and now. You know, you can now, now with this program, you can, you know, add an add, uh, equalizer on that. Just double click to reset it. Change your left to right ear if you want. Just keep all these on stereo, repeat over here, and you should be good. Um, this aux over here, we're not going to use, so I can just rename that to N. And capital N, NA. So not available, but that is basically it. So just to go through uh, again on our sound here. Um, we have enabled the voice meter input that allows us to equalize our sound. Um, that's optional if you want to do that. 
but highly recommended. Recording cable output. Make sure it is enabled for not only default device, but default communication device. So it should be just be a regular check mark. There shouldn't be anything else on there. Hit OK there. In TeamSpeak, just to confirm, our going to options here. And for playback, is voice meter input. Check. You can test it. Testing your playback sound system. Good there. Capture is going to be cable output, the VB audio cable, and that should be it. It's just a, a matter of fine tuning. You don't want to sound too studio, over the top broadcaster, right? You want to be right in the middle. You know, you can sound a little bit more, you know, broadcaster, um, but you don't want to overdo it because people will hate you. <laughs> They'll get really annoyed with it and it gets really annoying and everything. But that is the basic functionality of making your microphone sound better. It works for some mics. It doesn't work for others. You may have different results. I'm using a Blue Yeti. So um, that should do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.